Tatiana Ignatenko, I'm a Ukrainian journalist and uh, originally I'm from Donetsk, but uh, now I am uh, live in Berlin. Uh, hi, my name is Evgeny Maloletka, I'm a Ukrainian photojournalist. My name is Valerie, I'm editor in chief website, news website Vikna TV. It's Ukrainian website. You know, like we were working in, in the conditions where where you need to think about multiple things. The first thing is about how you will uh, find a safe place, or there is no actually a safe place in Mariupol. So some kind of uh, try to navigate and drive around and thinking about pos possible. Uh, threats and uh, possible targets that you should avoid and uh, of course thinking about what you should drink, what you should eat and where you need to sleep. So usually operate with these basic things and then and between of that you're thinking about how you will work and what you need to do uh, because uh, otherwise it doesn't make sense stay in these conditions. On the first day we like, knew that uh, the bombs start falling on the outskirts of the pupil and we go there and check if there is something. You know, even at the end of the day the rockets start falling uh, in the other parts, uh, deeply in the town as well. So. Mariupol uh, is the place uh, was targeted, which was targeted everywhere, and slowly by slowly, the front line was moving to the city center. Difficult is um, control your emotion. Like when you're working as a journalist, like I'm writing, I'm not on TV, I'm on a website, and uh, uh, first of all, you are like, taking off all your emotions and just working. So uh, during your day, and you as a journalist, just working, like comparing the information, check it uh, without emotions. And when you close your laptop, you know, only after that you could cry. Because <laughs> the uh, picture which we see every day and uh, lots of our familiar people uh, died. And it is really like, it is hard. But when you are working, it like, I can't see, it doesn't matter. It is matter, but you try to close down all the emotions just to check everything and know that you are doing like your best as a journalist only after that as a human when you close your left it's people's life it's not like show bees or something like that. It is real life. So before you post something, you need to check it. People just uh, can't understand, but uh, the uh, last uh, even uh, months, I from Berlin helped my Ukrainian colleagues who had like problem with electricity, with the internet, just to check some um, uh, some videos, some uh, news, because they uh, have a lack of the uh, like internet, and that's why they can't make it by uh, ourselves, and it's. Also, like very complicated. Uh, at that time, in 2014, I just uh, sent messages to my mom, who was like uh, also in Donetsk, and I said like, "What's happening in our seat, but in another part?" Because she didn't know it. You know, it's uh, um, 
also tricky when people think like if you are staying here you understand what's uh, explosion that happens near you no it doesn't work so you don't know who attacked who made it why he made it you can be like only witness okay i see it and what's more you can't understand mm -hmm. that's why yeah, uh, for myself i understand like you should uh, not only this fact like it's uh, explosion yeah but why it's happened who is under this it's uh, the work of journalists and it's uh, can be made from everywhere you shouldn't be like exactly at the, at the, here at this time and this place for a long time and uh, I know how things look like and I can understand what is going on even like watching the video or uh, looking on the pictures and um, I know the signs or like sometimes it's uh, look for me like fake or not fake I can like understand because I have sort of experience of looking different materials and uh, because I see many things on the ground and I, and I can understand how things can be look like. It is hard because of propaganda. Uh, there are lots of propaganda from Russia and it based in Ukraine because uh, lots of people watching Russian TV and uh, their narratives around Ukraine as well, around the world. So you need to check it and uh, not only ask like, different people one fact, you know, compare it like, a few times, three, four, even if everybody told the same, like official websites, people who watch like this and central, so you know that there is fact. Like, not only, like, if you heard something at once, so you can say that is fact. You need, like, a few hours to check it. So, in my website, if we search something new, and even if it's, like, uh, first news, and we need to push it right now, we do not do that. We have, like, few minutes or even few hours to check it and only after that we will put it on our website. So if any telegram channels, you know, post something, uh, you can't say is it true or not. There are lots of videos, photos, fake. So uh, before you post something to people, you need to be, you need to know that there is true. We are not following the be fast. We are following be true. So it's okay if we are not first. That's okay. But we will be not cancel news after that because we are we are not like uh, true, right? So it will it will be okay if I post it in our work and I will be probably like final person who post that. But it will be true. You know, like, especially that was happening on the beginning, when the, there was a massive attack uh, and weapons and disinformation on the beginning of the war. Uh, they, they sent millions of photographs and videos which were done before and prepared specifically for the first days because they won't disinform uh, people, because they won't disinform uh, authorities, etc. and to spread fear uh, just on the beginning, you know. Now it's harder because everyone already learned some things and uh, information, you know, and the front line is, uh, move, is moving not so fast as before. So, Nowadays, 
uh, it's less disinformation than on the beginning and you somehow you can control it more or less. But on the beginning it was really hard. Of course we saw that um, reactions in all the echo of Russians. Uh, they blame us as uh, uh, that we did fake, etc. Uh, blaming us that we are information terrorists uh, from the Russian state, uh, MFA, etc. So we have a lot of our accounts were targeted. Uh, as well, we received many comments and messages from the people like who blame it, you know, like us, you know, the lie and etc. So, but we are not care about and we are not fighting it against propaganda. So we are journalists who are on the ground, uh, check the situation and providing facts what we saw.